How's it going gamers? Today we're going to be taking a look at the gaming PC of 2022 that only comes in at $300. This is a pretty sweet deal because now it's kind of hard to come by systems like this around the market so hopefully you guys could go find some stuff on Facebook Marketplace like me and go build yourself something just like this that is going to perform pretty well in games and we're going to be showing that at the very end of this video we'll go over the benchmarks but before that we need to talk about the specs on this PC. So the two most important things, let's go over them real fast. What is the CPU and then what is the graphics card? For the CPU, we have an i5-4570. This is a four core processor that starts at 3.2 gigahertz and it can boost up to 3.6 gigahertz. This processor is pretty nice for the price. It is four cores. So if you guys are into editing and using Photoshop, this is helpful or if it's just for gaming, either way, four cores is better than one core. And so for the CPU price, I'm gonna talk about it in just one moment because I got that in a combo deal and it was a pretty sweet deal. Next up, we got the GTX 760. This is a four gigabyte card that we got for just under $100. We got it for around 97. This card wouldn't always go for that. It used to be cheaper back in the good old days, but now they're kind of getting expensive again. But yeah, this is a really nice card. I like this card and then the 750 Ti. They're actually pretty similar and they're great for budget builds like this. All right, so for the motherboard, we have the Asus Z87. This motherboard is pretty old, yes, but that's what you guys gotta get if you guys are getting an older processor like this. The processor is still a nice processor, but it's just an older one. It's still gonna kick butt in video games, so that's a good one. So anyways, I got the motherboard and the CPU for $97 as well, which is a pretty sweet deal. So as of right now, we're about $200 into this PC build and we only have $100 left to finish it. So let's see what happens. So we have an Insignia 450 watt power supply in here. $30 for around 500 watts is probably a good price. Anything around the same wattage, you're gonna be paying about $30 for. It's not a great deal, but it's just what it is. So for the RAM, we have eight gigabytes of total of Corsair Vengeance. This is DDR3 RAM, obviously, because this is an older system. We got that for just around $30. And then for storage, we actually bought something new because storage is very important and I wanna make sure that whoever gets this PC has a great PC. So we have a 240 gigabyte SSD by Kingston and this was also $30. Everything else I was able to get for free, Windows 10 Pro came on this motherboard already, so I did not have to pay for that. I was actually able to get this PC case for free from some of the other parts that I bought, and then the CPU cooler came with the motherboard. So technically, we're right around $290, but if you guys wanna include maybe like a $10 Wi-Fi chip, it'll be like at 300 on the dot. So the PC may be a bit older and it may not be the prettiest, but this thing can game pretty well. I did like how this case had these big red ring lights on the front of it. I think it actually made it look pretty modern for being such an old case. I think the red accents really went well with it considering on the very top we have a little red LED bar. There is like a little window on the side. So if you guys wanted, you guys could spend an extra $10 to go get some RGBs to shine on the inside. Trust me, that really makes it pop with this build. I've done it before on one of my old PCs with the exact same case. So anyways, let's get down into those benchmarks real fast. So for Fortnite on high, we were at 500 FPS. Medium was 130 FPS. And all these settings are gonna be at 1080p. So Apex Legends with a variety of settings averaged right around 70 FPS. And then GTA 5 was very surprising. At high, we got 110 FPS on average and then medium 150 FPS. So I don't know about you, but for the price, I think those are some pretty good numbers for the performance. If you guys do wanna check out the parts for this PC, I will have links below. They are Amazon links, but I don't necessarily suggest you buy through those links because Amazon is shooting the price up like crazy. I would really suggest using Facebook Marketplace, but nonetheless, you guys could at least use the links to see the exact part, see pictures of it, and about the price on Amazon. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys slap that like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next build.